All right, uh, let's see. So, I am... I don't even remember. I think I was on, like, a donut buying quest. I don't remember. Oh, right, no, I was straight outside the dungeon and very wounded. How much money do I have? Not much. I guess let's just see what I can do in here. I could blow myself up and see what... Uh, see what I can do. I legitimately do not understand what I'm supposed to do in this room. It feels like I've I've wildly misjudged how the room works. But wait, that guy's still alive? I uh, you know what? I'm just going to ignore him. He's too much of a nuisance. Okay, so we've got these weird cats. Oh, they chuck bombs at you? Bomber Kitty. I'm not actually sure. Ah, no! Why? Oh. Uh, let's switch to the torches. I don't entirely know what gets the bomber cats to not attack me. But we do get a block. Ray? The this only got worse? And we've- oh, we've got one of those little battery guys over there. Well, I don't have anything I need to worry about. Okay, so I can't- oh! I can get the bomber kitty to kill itself. By exploding itself on the, uh, on the block dude. Ow? I am confused about everything that's going on in this game. Okay, so I have this block- oh no, it's a chest! We get a, another token of- celestial token. Sorry. I was gonna call it a token of serendipity. Get out of the way of this. I don't know what this laser barrier is good for. I don't know anything about anything in this game. Uh, I'm learning, maybe. Okay, so now everything is fire. Oh! It trapped the bomber cats. We also have this dude, which I'm just going to try and wail on. We should probably get out of the way before I get completely... You know, question. Oh, perfect. I can just set, set things on fire. It doesn't do much damage. But it does kill them. Okay. What else we got over here? Uh, let's see. I'm... I guess I could just hit him until he gets out of my way. And yeah, just stay away from the weird roller thwomps. Oops. Uh... If I'm not mistaken, these explode and... Nope, they don't. They don't just set me on fire. Okay. Well, I can probably reasonably kill this guy. We're getting some HP back slowly, yeah? Or is my sticker off? Okay, now it's coming back. These level designs are interesting. I don't know what to think about them. Oh, these guys explode into loads of money. Oh, you know what? I bet I have to, uh... I bet I have to hit this switch again. Over here, do we have somebody? Do we have anything? Oh, but we have a- we have a torch. Nope. Yes! Okay, there we go. Yeah, the whole switch system is gonna be kinda weird. I'll probably be fine. We get some medicine, but I think that's only good if you're actually poisoned. I don't know. I don't- I don't know anything about this yet. I'm just gonna hit this. Well, it wasn't a mistake as long as I don't stand it- Ow! What? Oh. There's just a slime in here. Okay. You wanna explode into donuts for me? I'm in desperate need of more- more consumables. No? Okay. Unfortunate. Oh. Nope. There we go. So we get two blocking dudes. 
Okay, so the enemies can just move straight through. Well, option A... That really doesn't do as much damage as I'd like it to. Luckily, I can just kind of berserker roll on these guys. I don't really know what that thing does. It's just kind of there. I'm glad I got the battle fork. I'm sure there's a pattern with this guy. I see. Attack him just as he's about to attack you. And it's easier. I was just being... Oops. I was just being lazy because I have the ability to, um... Uh... I have the ability to attack through their defense. It's just not very fast. Okay. Let's not step on the poison. Luckily, it doesn't do much damage. Okay, and we do get a treasure chest, which has a big key. Unlocks the final room of this dungeon. What does this do? I... Back to the beginning. Okay. I'm confused. The map says there's a big locked chest. Did I see that or not? I actually have no idea. Because I've been through this. I've been through that other way. Maybe I just missed the chest on the way through. Or... I don't know. I'm just going to avoid him. Trying to go after him is not worth the effort. Because, yeah, we went to the right. Uh, is there a... I was really hoping there would be, like, a... I was hoping there would be some kind of... Oh! One of those cats just... beasted the other one. Oh, that's the other trick for killing the bomber cats. Hang out directly next to them. Or relatively next to them. Whatever, don't care. Okay, let's kill Battery Man. Yeah, so I can go in there, but I want to go check that chest first. Because supposedly there's a chest over here, and I probably should check that out. I mean, it's not like backtracking takes too much. Ow? He must have hit me. I also have no idea... Oh, that's the crown. That's what flies off. So every once in a while, there's a... A champion enemy, effectively. And so when you kill them, their crown flies off to the next... to, ne uh, to the next one, and charges them up. That makes sense. Okay, that chest was the key. I just wanted to double- oh, right, yeah, you're- you're totally right. It doesn't look like Battery Man has respawned. Okay. Oh, nope! I don't want to get hit by that. And we should just be able to get in here, which probably means there's a- Boss fight? No, no boss fight. More bomber cats. Oh, got him. Get tons of landmines. Okay. How sensitive are these? Not that. That's good. We don't have another bomber cat coming after me. Everything is already charged. So it can just get in here. Uh, let's see. Huh. Oh, you know what? I have to be on this one. What the? Oh! There's her answer. 
I have to be in the middle one. Because it's the only safe one. Damn it. You really will not cross that gap for anything. Kind of hoping I could kind of gun for it. But I guess not. And, oh, right. Probably have to be blue. Torch. There we go. Well, this is fairly easy for a first dungeon. We probably still have a boss fight. No? Yes. Right, then. Just need to fight the... Hey! Wait for your cue. Yeesh. Some people these days. Fallen Sword, level 2. Okay, so we have to... We have to fight a... Ow. Ow. Woohoohoo. We do not have the HP for that. Ow. Okay, I've got more HP than, than I make it seem. more or less have to make sure she doesn't wail on me too much. Or is that a he? Really hard to tell. But I guess we'll have the first boss down. Ow! What the? That's a new one. Just throws a giant record at me. Alright, whatever. Beat the boss. I'm gonna need to go grind for some healing items though. Seems a bit. Mean. Uh, seems a bit mean, doesn't it? Making the old swords fight the new one. That's the god. That's gods for you, though. Apparently, uh, Puku is actually female. Oh well. I can't do lady voices. I mean, I can. Much harder to do, though. All right. Golf club. In ancient times, rich old people used to play a game. You, you being neither, you can use it to smack away foes with Y. Let's see, is this from the It'll Do people? No, it is, it is not. This is a, uh... This is a Devolver Digital game. I don't think I've heard of the studio before. Great stuff! A new toy of legend! We made quite the team, huh? I'm gonna take that silence as agreement. Anyway, now we can open the trial chamber and destroy the anchor. Check your map. I know where it is. Okay, so I'm pretty poor. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna kind of wander around for a little while. I mean, well, okay, we're not woefully wounded anymore. But we were earlier. I have to kill the brain. If I don't kill the brain, everything heals. Ow. Get out of here, pet rock creature. Oh, jeez. Those things are vulnerable, so I can guess instead of just trying to stunlock the crap out of them. I could just be patient. Emphasis on could. Okay, so we have two locations. Let's go down south a little bit more. There's a big question mark. Uh, but first... Oh. You know, I was expecting more things to burn, but I guess it is raining. So I shouldn't have that high of expectations. God, these like weird this this weird like trio of souls thing is probably the most like horrifying I think of out of all of them. It just bugs me. There's just nothing good about it. Like the rest of these guys are just like totally regular enemy-ish things. But they're like, you have magnet, Magneton Ghosts. Ish? They're like significantly more sinister, as far as I'm concerned. I think I just killed like a random critter. I got 12 EXP from just chopping grass. Okay, well, let's get further away from the kazoo thing. Oh. 
Oh, it's because it's nighttime. Which means we're probably going to lose here. I wonder if the uh, sword levels up that carries over. Because, yeah, we've got a limited amount of time in a given daily run. Oh, okay, so these, these things are worth 12 EXP. What is this? Can I do anything to it? No. Well, do I just... No, we might as well take out one of the anchors. At least before things are over. I don't entirely know how the roguelike -y, uh, elements work for this. Racial pools, level three. Oh, uninvited tutorial alert. There's a shrine nearby. These little doodads were once used to worship an old Dinoan god called Serendipity. Long story short, their whole deal was granting people happy surprises. They might be able to help with the, the curse, rewind time or something. Worth a shot. Just act surprised when it happens, okay? Offer celestial tokens to the shrine? No. Let's see if I can find a... Uh... I'm just going to wander around for a little while. I want to fill out this map before I do too much. Oh, good. We got we got a donut. But what day am I on? Uh, this is the end of day one, I think. I could be wrong. Oh, shoot. I must have touched the, the weird ghost critter. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, sword levels or something carries over between. Okay, maybe I can set these suckers on fire. Because, yeah, I don't have a viable ranged attack yet. Okay, that'll burn and explode. Just like we... just like we want to. Wonder do you like jazz? Relatively, yeah. I don't listen to, mu uh, to much jazz, admittedly. Uh, Shell doesn't like jazz at all. But I'll listen to it on, on occasion. If I'm, uh... if I'm specifically... hello. Two days left. Okay, so I guess this is day two. I know people go on about Ditto being under a curse and all, but riddle me this, if we're so cursed, how come my eyebrow game is so on point? And it's totally natural, no- You don't have eyebrows, dingus. I'm leaving. You're stupid. Everything about you is dumb. Okay, so we have that up there. I'm just gonna run past most of these enemies. mostly hoping I can hit level three. I I know I'm not going to be able to beat the uh, final final enemy on the first run. It'd be impressive if I could. But I am not that impressive. I'm just, I'm adequate. I'm functionally adequate in every way possible. Okay, maybe my eyebrow game is pretty strong. I don't know, hard to tell. When I was uh, growing up, you couldn't see my eyebrows. They, like, straight up too blonde to tell. Then I burnt them off on a camping trip. It was too close to the fire. It was really cold. Uh, and then they came back brown. Eyebrows are weird. Oh, hello. Uh, we probably need a bomb for this. Luckily, I think I have a bunch. There we go. What do we got in here? The 
Press direct steps. I don't know what this is. Ow. None of this was worth. Or maybe it was. Hard to say. Oh, I was just supposed to hit this thing. So I guess this didn't work out as well as a... Well, whatever. Who cares? I... I've just kind of come to accept that if I... If I fail, I fail. And we'll just try again. Because I know, I know I've got limited amounts of time. Okay, we've got a treasure chest. Maybe this will have a, like a, oh, another token of serendipity to me. Well, we could always try teleporting out of here. That's the one thing that we haven't done yet. Because I know we can rewind time. I'm just like, I'm afraid to mess with it. Because if I can save, if I can save my resources for future, Future runs ish. I I guess I won't know until I die or start over. No diamond. Yeah, if uh okay. For what I get when you come back in time for okay. It would be lovely if they actually just explained it outright. Uh, it's like, yeah, you're going to fail, but when you fail, you can just start over. Well, I guess I should probably check the other corner, seeing as we got a road leading up here. Doesn't look like anything except for this weird tree. I can't do anything to it, so let's burn it. Nope. As a burn-proof tree. Impressive. Alright, let's... What the? Zubat? Didn't know those would just shoot at me. Okay. But you get some of your items back, but you don't get stickers. Interesting. Well, once again, this is one of those situations where I'll just have to... Hello. This is one of those situations where I'll just have to learn by doing. People like to get mad at me for not doing things the right time, uh, the right way the first time around. But, like, I will always be a, like, learn-through-failure kind of guy. Or just accept that failure is part of the experience and move on. But like, uh, what was it? Monster Hunter World. Somebody's really mad at me because I wasn't, I wasn't like, perfectly going for, uh, the most dangerous part of a monster. It's like, no, you need to attack her from the front. I'm like, look, dude, I've never fought this thing before. That's a distinctly bad idea. No, you need to do it. No. <laughs> Let me learn. Okay. So we've got something about a torch. And we've got another one of these, like, ditto things. What's up with this guy? Oh, he's dead. Oh, he was worth EXP. Oh, we're just back here. Okay, well, we're headed for the anchor, but that's ways away. I don't know, I'm just gonna wander around. So those little mice, I felt a little bit bad about murdering them, but no, they are... They, they are actually dangerous. Well, dangerous might not be the right word, but they will hit me. And that's unappreciated. Wonder if you tried playing Nino Kuni 1. I don't have a PS3. So, no. I've never played Nino Kuni 1. And I might never. I don't know. I, it's not like I have free time for it. Pretty much got up today and I'm like, well, I could rest, or I could go back to work. Bertract pools. What is this? 
Burp, who are you? Burp, the sword? I think I remember something about that. Burp, what is this place? This is the sanctuary. Ever heard of serendipity? This is like a garden built in their honor. I used to help people commune with them, but it seems like a long time ago now. Burp, now I just soak. Which is fine, I like soaking. Just a waste of all this power, you know? What is this place? Burp, you've seen the little shrines to serendipity around the island. Think of this as the master one. Once upon a time, I helped people commune with it, but long ago. Okay, who is serendipity? Burp, serendipity? Ah, they are pretty cool, a bit shy, which is why they went through people like me. Of course, no one really believes in them nowadays, not since they missed a spot in the Pantheon. Burp. But while someone believes, at least, they must still exist, perhaps that's my fate. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Time limit. Time limits? Oh, you have a time limit on your quest. Ugh, that sounds annoying. You know, Serendipity hates that kind of stuff. They'd probably be willing to help you with it. Commune with Serendipity? Or maybe commuting is putting it a little bit too grandly. People could bring orb relics here. And once they brought enough, they grant something to the person that had hoped for. Maybe if you do it, you can get some more time, Burp? I think the pedestals should still work. Between you and me, all the orbs and tokens and stuff always seemed a little unnecessary. We had to get a third dustbin to cope. I think it was just busy work, just to be honest. But such is the whim of the gods. Okay. So I gotta bring orbs here. Not just the tokens. I'm hoping to get more fast travel points. That's the other thing that I want to do. Because more or less my first run on, on games like this are absolutely throwaway. Just learn and get as much stuff as I possibly could. Could, can, everything. Okay. Level up too. So Shovel will be back on Wednesday, which means I might actually be able to uh, to get her help, at least a little bit. So do I offer a token of serendipity immediately? It seems a bit wasteful. To be totally honest. Oh, that thing dropped a bomb when it died. He's not dead yet. Okay. There we go. I'm not fully sure what I should be focusing on here. Wailing on higher level enemies seems like a decent use of my time. They're certainly worth a lot of EXP. Hey, thank you, MYM, for the bits. I can't even talk to this person. Alright. Yep. She is just a non-functional human being. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I guess let's keep wandering around. Oh, I guess I'm going this way. Well, it's not a big deal. Hello. Well, we found her castle. Shouldn't surprise me much. It'd be interesting if I tried just attacking her again, right from the outset. It'd be funny if it turned out that she is beatable. Just that first round was just bad tutorial game setup. What game let you do that? I guess not entirely in the same way, but in uh, Demon Souls and in Dark Souls 1, you were always confronted with a boss at the very beginning of the game, more or less to... ...teach you about losing the, um, the hard way. Uh, kind of to get you in the right mindset for the game. And, uh, they were actually beatable. Which I always found kind of cool. Uh, that, like, you could, you could beat the Asylum Demon, that you could beat the, uh... That you could beat the Asylum Demon, that you could beat whatever the boss was in, uh, Demon Souls. Unfortunately, I never played enough Demon Souls to really know the answer on that one. Well, no, I did. 
but we only ever saw the thing once. Because you had to take like a totally arbitrary route through the game. You had to take like a weird arbitrary side route just to be able to uh Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's let's go find that anchor. Uh a weird arbitrary side route just to be able to even reach the uh the first boss again. Which felt like a bit of a waste if you ask me. Demon Souls and Dark Souls is an interesting intro. This shield is one of the earliest pickups, and it implies you should turtle up. Which was straight up punishing in uh, Demon Souls, if I remember right. Because, like, where trying to, like, truck around with heavy equipment in Demon Souls was atrocious. Because every item you were carrying with you uh, counted against your load. Which was not fun. We went with the caster character, and it worked out about as well as it possibly could have. And that entire playthrough is a blur. It'd be cool if they remastered Demon Souls. I doubt they'll ever do it, though. Okay, the final day. Really? Well, I guess let's go deal with this anchor, and then I'll go see about the uh, token of serendipity. Hello, dear. I was hoping I'd bump into you. I've got something you might find useful. I haven't actually got, gotten a chance to get it out of storage, though. Would you mind picking it up? It's over at Crestfall Ranch. Here's the, here's the key. I hope it comes in useful. New quest. Ow. Okay. Lost him. Okay. Well, what do we got in here? Probably just another token of serendipity. No, maybe not. Auto exec bat initiating boot up sequence. Isle of Trials rule system online. Welcome to Rock by Cavern. In accordance with the Ministry of Trials' Decree RE2411EB, this dungeon is subject to the Ditto Isle of Trials challenge system. All interactions with this dungeon will be augmented by rules held within this rule bot. You can revise the rules in this dungeon at your convenience by pressing start on your tablet, tablet device and clicking on status. Today's rule is vanilla. All toy upgrades disabled. Interesting. I'll probably come back to this. That seems interesting, whatever it is. Okay. So the puke does more than just poison damage. Or poison effect, I will take damage from it. Where is that anchor? Oh no, the anchor is further away than I thought it was going to be. And I can't reach it from here. Well, I th think we had a Shrine of Serendipity over here. Yes? I think it was it was either here or down south. I think it was here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I I can chuck some tokens of serendipity at this thing. My tokens were warmly received. Well, that was not helpful. Nor was that. Okay. How the butts am I supposed to get over there? Actually. But yeah, hold on. I am not. Okay. I. I don't see a possible route to the anchor. Unless we're supposed to go all the way down. Let's go check out that weird dungeon instead. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Oh, I see. It's the start of the 
it's the uh, start of a new week, so everybody's, uh... Everybody's, uh, giving me small amounts of bits to be the top bit giver for the week. Which you silly. Holy crap, those bats die fast. I wonder if my money carries over between deaths. I don't know. 